Hi Disruptors, welcome back to our From Zero to Hero video series. My name is Francisco Costa and today will be the last episode of this series. It is a sad moment for us at Ruption, but we are really glad to have you with us throughout this journey. On this episode, we will make a recap of the best concepts, the best practices and rules that you need to make yourself a hero. In the last episode, we talked about application design in OutSystems, the last concept that you needed to learn to become a hero. So by now, you should be familiar with data models, logic, screens, blocks, architecture and application design. Remember the knowledge of these tools and your application and how you combine them will make the difference between a good and a bad application. Today, we will show you our online store application that we have been working on throughout the video series. So that you can see all the puzzle pieces that you have been learning and working on come together. If you have not seen all our videos up until now and you are new to OutSystems, we advise you to check out all the From Zero to Hero videos. They are available on our YouTube channel with their own playlist for the three languages that we did them. Otherwise, you may struggle to catch up, up on all that we will be talking about today. If you have been with us since the beginning, congratulations. Thank you for sticking around and learning with us. Just a hint, at the end of this episode, there is a challenge for you. Let's get started. If you recall, we have tried to give you practical examples when explaining the concepts that we talked about. We used a fictitious project for an online store. Today, we will show you the online store working and as we walk through it, we will give you some hero tips. Our online store is an application built with OutSystems that will sell products to clients and will allow the company that owns this application to set up the store. So you can set up products, suppliers, and have a log of transactions and manage the product stock. It can be used on your laptop, phone, or tablet by simply accessing a website. Let's start with the back office of our online store. Here, the owner of this application will be able to add and edit suppliers to the store, add and edit products to the store, checking transactions of the store, add or edit the screens that are going to use the CRUD actions for our products and supplier entities. The list screens display the data that exists on our entities. If you are working on an app and you need to have or you need to do an improvement to a screen, you can easily know which screen you will need to do the improvement. The URL gives you the path to that screen. The first bit of the URL is your OutSystems environment. After that, it's the name of your module, followed by the name of the screen. There is a way to custom all of this, but it's too advanced for now, so we won't touch that topic. If we log in as a customer, we will see the store with all its products, with a more cared UI. Here, we are also following our best practices, splitting the life cycles of these applications. The customer will have its theme and its modules, giving us the flexibility to make the changes as needed to this particular UI without impacting the rest of the application. Here, the customers will be able to search and view product details and buy products, impacting their stock, creating transactions. Please bear in mind that this application is very, very simple. We are not going into the detail of having a shopping cart or a delivery tracking. It is just a starting app to allow you to get to know OutSystems. If you build your app with OutSystems, out of the box widgets, you will not only develop faster, but also more flexibly. OutSystems widgets are ready to adapt to the device, whether it's a phone, laptop or tablet. You can have an overview of this by playing around with your browser's advanced tools or with the OutSystems built-in visualizer to check the behavior in different devices. So, at the moment, you can see how the app looks on the laptop. If we switch it to a tablet, this is how it would look like. And finally, the phone. As you can see, everything adapts. How it adapts can be configured on the Service Studio. Playing around with the browser has more to do with it than testing your responsiveness. If you inspect your application, and you can do this by right-clicking on the app and select Inspect or using the shortcut Control shift i a whole new world unfolds. 
Here is where you will find every bit of code that you have developed in Service Studio, but in a way that the browser can understand it and show it to the user. Under the hood, what happens is, Service Studio is the interface where you can build your codes. OutSystems has built a way of converting what we build in Service Studio into CSS, HTML and JavaScript. So every time we publish, OutSystems is doing the work of converting our code to these three languages. If we move back to the browser and to our inspection tools, we will have a lot of information to dwell on. Just to give you an overview, on the Elements tab, you will be able to see HTML and CSS of your application. This is useful to select given elements and check the CSS that is being applied. All of this is configurable, so if you want to test some changes to your CSS, you can do it here and see how, we'll, how it will turn out before making a deploy on your code. What you do will only apply to this browser and this instance, since this is a copy of your downloaded code to your browser you are working on and not the real deal. On the console, you have an overview of JavaScript errors or logs happening in your application. On the sources, you can find all the files the browser received and it's using to build up your application. Your application resources are going to be here. For instance, we can have a look at our theme. Again, we can change it if we wanted to just test out any updates that we would like to do. Now, just to finish the overview of our application, we will go back to the back office and check the transactions that data that has been made. We can see the transactions made if we go to a specific product. If we go to our transaction back office, we can see an overview of data to help us improve our business. That is all for today's class. Today we just took a look into what is out systems and what it can provide. On the next class, we will take a deeper dive into data modeling. Sim, senhor. Mais para o meio. Não está a sair. Oh fuck! E para gente ter que fazer o que eu vou. Não estava com entusiasmo. In the last episode, we talked about application design in OutSystems. The last concept that you need about it. I don't know if I'm No, it's like, I was trying to try, right? Take two. Ação! Hide this... Uh, no, I'm going to stop this. I have to put my hands on Tá? Huh?